Good morning. Good morning, my Christian family. A new day. A new day has arrived. Today is Saturday, March 15th. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone woke up this morning. Praise God to see another beautiful day in the Lord. So, we got a good one for you today. I was looking at the Economist channel. There's a channel I follow about the Economist economy and things going on with the um, stock market and other things that are going on throughout the U.S. and other parts of the world. And <laughs> now this is not a Christian channel. This is just an economist channel for economy because I used to day trade um, as part of my um, before I used to day trade. So I used to um, look at how, how stocks and things keep up on what's going on. So guess what they talked about yesterday? Elon Musk, Bill Gates, all the rich elites are now selling off, selling off even their own companies, selling their own stock in their own companies, liquidating the assets, buying land, for the bunkers. Hmm. Ain't that something? And this is now I'm, I'm watching this. I say, wow, the Bible speaks about it. They, these guys are <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I just I just I just listen to the whole thing because I'm, I'm I'm laughing because like I said, it's not a Christian channel. But they um they was talking about yeah, they how the elites they they, they know something's up and they're not telling no one. But if you know, as we know, as Christians, we know what's up. We know what's going on. I'm out of um, the King James Bible this morning. I'm going to read a word and I'm going to pray a little later. Um, I'm going to start here with Joe, chapter 2. We're going to come over here. Hold on. I got my notes here. Yeah. Joe, Joe chapter 2, verse 28. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And it shall come to pass after, afterwards that I will pour out my spirit unto all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Old, um, your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions and also up on the service um, saints and unto on up on the handmaids in those days i will pour out my spirit and i will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood. Do you see now already? Is that has happened already? You've seen blood moons all over the place right now. Before the great and the terrible day of the Lord's come, and it shall come to pass that whoso shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered from, I mean, delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord has said, and in the remnants whom the Lord shall call. So, all these things Sun off all their assets, the, the wealthy, you know. Sun off all their stocks. Because what they're going to try to do, they know what's coming. Now, they, to be honest with you, they may not know about the rapture. Because everyone, I watched some channels, 
a lot of people are speculating that April 8th, we have the solar eclipse. That is going to be the resurrection, and that is going to be the rapture. But like I say, no one knows the time or day. But something big is going to happen. That's what they say. I don't know. That's why I say, family, I don't know. Anything can happen. It can happen before that. It might be a black swan day. I don't know. But this is what we need to do. Pray about it. Pray about it. And pray about it. Um, but keep our lamps filled. Be on watch. Um, so all these hedge funds and these, these big guys in, over here on Wall Street, they saw up liquidating order stocks. I think they're doing that not because of biblical prophets, because they see what's going on in these major cities. And when when we when we actually hit hit to a point of an economic collapse, it's going to be chaos. That's why I, I, I said in another video about three days ago, if you like me, I'm relocating out of, the, out of New York City because I see New York City is getting worse and worse for us crime. And imagine an economical collapse. The U.S. It, it, it's been depressed. They had a depression back, I think, in the '60s or whatever. But we are living in different times now. You know, if civil unrest happens in the U.S., which it has already happened, but not to the boiling point where the economy collapsed because of all what's going on, it's going to cause chaos like we never seen before in this country. And I already know when I had left go to Mexico the first time, a lot of people were selling off their property in the U.S., even in Canada. I know some people that sold all their property in Canada, moved down to Mexico outside the city. And, you know, there wasn't still not really building bunkers, but they just getting out of this, getting out of the U.S. and getting out of Canada because they see what's coming and they're not even Christian. And that's when that's that's in, that's when you know we're close to the return of Jesus, when non-believers feel something coming. But what they what they're feeling is an economical collapse. That's what they're feeling. But that's also what's in the Bible too. The Bible speaks about that. That your 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 gold silver will rust. The the rich people. So we'll be throwing their, their their wealth in the streets because of what's going to come on the earth. Now they think their bunkers are going to save them. Now it may save them from that. Yes, it will save them from from if we get a nuclear attack in the U.S. That's been talked about a lot. They 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 keep speculating. Maybe on April eighth, Russia might try to attack America because of what's going on with Ukraine right now. That's is get, that is actually intensifying even more. You know, Putin has already he he's like not holding back no more, and it's it's cause the breaking point is really there. You know, um, it's just been a lot of crazy stuff going on over there. I'm, I'm not even gonna talk about that, but just talk about here in the U.S. We have a a crisis going. We got a we got a war going on right here. It's more of a spiritual war too. And uh, I was at Tony Tansani yesterday, you know, it, you know, like I said, you just need to pray. But yes, these elites, they know that things are going to get crazy in this country. They know it's been talk of civil wars. We got, we got an election, com an election coming up soon. Um, People think that the country's going to be divided, which is kind of is divided already. You know, a nation don't stand, will fall, which America is already divided. You know, you got, um, I'm, I'm hearing talks. Now, this is actually not in, like I said, I don't get my news from Fox News, CBS. I don't get my news from that. Okay. Literally, that's mostly all fake news. You don't hear a lot of these things on these mainstream social medias. 
And so a lot of Christian and, and some of these even the other other channels that are even not even non-Christian bring up a lot of very important things too that you still don't hear, like the economists. You don't hear on mainstream news. I don't like to follow mainstream news. Um so yeah, it um well, I just got to God, I'm all over the place right now. Bear with me, God bless. So yeah, um, we 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 already know that things are going to get crazy. Now they're defunding the police again, and they also downsizing the um our our armed forces. I mean, they want to replace our U.S. citizens with migrants. They want to replace U.S. born U.S. or wherever you're born or not, doesn't matter. U.S. citizens that are already citizens with migrants that are not citizenship, that has no citizenship. And what they want to do, which make, to me makes no sense, they want to get rid of the, the people that are citizens, get rid of them and replace them with migrants. And that'd be a fast way for the migrants to obtain citizenship. Now, what that, that doesn't make any sense. But I'm also hearing other high-ranked government jobs, they're firing U.S. citizens that came here legal, that are born here, replace them, <laughs> and put migrants in their place. Okay. I don't know, but this is all a part of the agenda of collapsing this country. Okay. Because once I say, once the United States has fallen, because this, this is what they're trying to do. This is what the, and, and once they're, once America has fell to its knees as an empire, come the new world order. And you already know the Antichrist will pop his head out. We don't know who he is at. We don't know who the Antichrist is right now. But believe me, the way things are going right now, we will soon. Pray to God, we're we out of here when that happens. But um, family, we're we at the door. You know, we we're really at the door. I I I I, I try to keep up on uh, world events, and um, it, it, I, literally, it's so much going at one time. I I I'm like, wow! At any minute, the rapture could happen. I mean, literally, you know, it, it only takes one fuse to, to, to something to ignite, which I believe is going is going to be with Russia. Now, like I say, you know, but anyway, the the the, the elites, the elites, know what's coming. They already they they know, and they're preparing. They're preparing. But here's the thing. How they're preparing. Because you can prepare all you want. You can prepare, have your bunker, have all the food. But here's the thing. Do you know Jesus Christ? Do these people that are preparing these bunkers know about Jesus Christ? Because that is going to be what's going to save them. Not their bunker. Their bunker may save them for a little bit. Because after the rapture, the Bible speaks, the hell, the gates of hell will open, be open, and all those demonic things will come out of the earth. Lord Jesus, imagine having your bunker in the ground, and these things come right through your bunker. Because let me tell you something: there's been there's been there's been rumors about booms under the ground. These things are ready to come out. The Bible speaks about these things walking the earth. That's another thing. That's why I say we have no fear right now. Because things will get even more darker. Imagine creatures walking around among us. Demons. All kind of things. Giants. All This is the Bible speaks about this thing. This is why a lot of lead, spiritual leaders don't want to talk about revelations. But we have to talk about it. We got to get people prepared. Because if they're left behind... 
people would be having heart attacks seeing these things walking around. Can you imagine what's going to come out of the pit of hell when, when the rapture of the church is gone? You see these in movies. There's a movie, I forgot the name. Oh, it reminds me, and, and now I know where they got it from. It's called Pacific Realm. This is what, and, 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 and that movie sticks in my mind for some strange reason. It sticks in my mind for some reason. I don't know why. But if you ever watched Pacific Realm, where these these creatures came out of mountains, big humongous creatures came out of the sea, just came out this 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 just basically just coming out of every, everywhere, consuming, destroying, and, and I think that's where um well, Godzilla, I think they try to put him in there, but that's a, that that's a different movie, but Pacific Rim was where they opened the. The, the the realm to a different world and these creatures came out they came out of the sea they came out of mountains like in Mexico where I was at that. this famous mountain all these millions of years didn't know it was a creature living in this mountain and he just came up humongous bigger from, from probably the size of the Empire State Building <laughs> came out of this mountain now it's funny that these that Hollywood has a way of making movies to predict the future. Not everything that you see, and I mean a lot of it is demonic. We already know Hollywood pushed out a lot of demonic movies, but a lot of it is of things that's going to happen. Like you know these people that make these movies, there are, a lot of them are demonic. The demons are showing what's going to happen in the future. Gotta know Jesus. Gotta know Jesus. So all these million, I don't, that's why I say, I don't care how much, that's why I'm making these videos. I don't care how much money Bill Gates, listen, I don't care how much money you have. It's not going to protect you for what's coming on this earth. There's going to be some crazy, crazy stuff. I used to watch these movies, like, they made a part two of that movie, Pacific Rim. The things that come out of And I always said that we don't know what's in the sea. The sea, you know, the sea is like, especially the Pacific Ocean. I used to say, now when I lived in Mexico, I had, I was, my apartment was, I had a beautiful view of the ocean, the whole Pacific Ocean. But I was up in the, in the hill and I can see the whole, the whole piece of wow, it's beautiful. And I always thought, what's in there? What is really in the bottom of that ocean? And the Pacific Ocean is the most deepest ocean in the world. People can't, mankind can't even go that far deep. Ain't that something? And it's right on this planet. It's like, it's easy, it's actually easier to go to space than to go in the bottom of the earth, of the ocean, actually, not the earth. I, I, matter of fact, I didn't know the, 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 that it was that deep. How is that possible? Well, God made everything. He made everything. He, he made everything possible. But the fact that we do not know what's at the bottom of the ocean. But guess what? We will soon if we left behind. Because a lot of it is going to be coming from there. A lot of things is going to come from there. We've been we've been we've been talking about how the oceans are getting warmer, and there's going to be a situation where a lot of marine life is going to be is going to die because of the waters getting. Now we all know there's volcanoes in the sea, right? There's volcanoes underwater, but also where's Hades? Hades is in the belly of the earth. Hell. So, just a little food for thought. So, I'm 
Bible today in group prayer this morning. I hope everyone's well off. Oh, I really appreciate you guys for your donations. I appreciate you guys 100%. Thank you very much. I love you guys. I love you guys' comments. Um, I really, really hope that I'm encouraging you guys because you guys are definitely encouraging me. And um, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for supporting my ministry. You know, and like I say, any, any little bit can help because, um, Greg, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at this stuff like I'm, I'm looking around and shaking my head like, Jesus, I knew it was going to get bad, but I didn't know it was going to get this bad. And I'm looking around the world. I'm like, what? Who would have thought? You know, my auntie, this was in 1983. It's like she had a vision, but she didn't tell me the vision. But she must be seeing something. You know what she told me? I will never forget these words she told me. I don't know how long, I don't know how, I don't know how she knew I was going to live this long. I didn't think I was going to make it to see 49. But she said, I feel bad. And, I'm, and I feel bad that you have to see the future. And I'm, and she, she was like 68, something like that, going on 70. No, no, she was not old. I think she was, she was in the going on 60. I forgot her, her age, but she was, she was up there. And she says, I'm so happy I don't have to see what you have to see in the future. And you know what? That stuck with me. And then my mother made a comment. She was young. She was no where's old my grandmama. She said, you know, son, it'd be sad, sad that you have to live and suffer and then die and go to hell and suffer for eternity. You know, fam, and, and and those words stuck from both of my parents. They stuck. I said, you know what? And then I'm looking around. I'm saying, wow, they seen something. Like they seen something, but they didn't. They never showed. But they they was Christian. You know, they fell away. They wasn't living the real Christian life. I mean, they 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 Christian by name. They didn't live like Christians, but God bless their soul. Pray that they are in heaven. Um, but I'm like, wow. It's like they knew something was going on. They knew what was going on. They seen something. They seen something the spiritual. I don't know the spiritual. So the, this is back in 1983. This is when I was a teen. They were going to school. I was in middle school. But anyway, family, um, it's scary, but God said, have no fear. But it's amazing that the things that are manifesting in this world on a accelerating rate, that I I mean, I would never believe the things that I'm seeing now would actually, I, you know, I always say like the U.S., I already knew that the U.S. was very corrupt in the things that they do and the darkness that they lead in the world that people think that they're they're doing the right thing a lot of times, but I know behind the scenes, it's a lot of darkness here. Well, now it's actually being the, the veil is being removed, and now it's in plain sight. And I'm like Jesus, it's like you were showing me this all along, and now it's just coming to pass. And I wasn't so much in the Bible at that time. I told you, even though I was raised in a Christian family. But because of all the drama that was going on in the church I was going to, I just said, this is this is this can't be real, you know. Um but now um I'm looking at I'm looking back and looking at the people at the when I did read the Bible and I say, This this is this is a living this is a living word. This you can't make you cannot ignore the Bible. You can't. If you wanted to, you can because we're living in it. 
this is this is the this is a movie. <laughs> it's a real movie. You know, and I'm like, wow, so yeah, and and, and it's like wow, I'm I i can not believe it. And I'm like, wow. And the world's just getting more it's just study. It says about well, the world would get with this technology, for instance. Men wants to play God. Men want to be God. But technology, you know, they want they taking technology and using it for evil, you know, and but you can never replace God. Just give a God. God is this is all God's stuff. This is all God's. How can you replace him? He's the creator of you and everything in here. How can man be so prideful that you're going to replace God? This is the crazy part. And this is what I say to myself, Jesus, why? What makes these people think this way? Well, we already know Satan. But it's it's amazing because Satan was made by God too. <laughs> how, can you, how You have the audacity to want to be God. God made you. Satan, get behind. You a liar. It's only one God, one Alpha, one Omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. No one else becomes before him. Never will. So, to put that in perspective, we're going to pray. And I hope everyone have a wonderful, it's a beautiful day today. This week, this guy has been blessing us over here. I don't know where you guys are watching me from, but it was 70 degrees yesterday. 70 degrees in March. <laughs> but those those are signs. I thought it was summertime. See, it's not even, it's spring. I think spring starts. I think we are already in spring right now. But it seemed like it was a summer. The people was actually you know, in the on the beach. Like it was a summer day. And God say, Bible speaks about that too. There'll be a time where you will never know the season. You get confused the seasons. When it's supposed to be cold, it'll be hot. When it's supposed to be hot, it'll be cold. The seasons will be all off, off, off balance. The earth is all whacked out right now. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you with thanksgiving. We give thanks once again for waking us up this morning. Somewhere around the world, Someone didn't get up this morning, but we give thanks that you allowed us to see a new day and give us the opportunity to serve you and be a part of your kingdom and bring other people to the truth of Jesus Christ. Because without Jesus Christ, we're nothing. We are all sinners and come short of your glory. And we repent in the name of Jesus of the sins willfully and unwillfully that we commit against your commandments. And we ask you for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. I ask you that you watch over and protect all our families, all the viewers, Protect them, protect their families, protect their finances. Keep them under your grace. Even the non-believers, touch their hearts that they can come to find Jesus. As of right now, it's Ramadan season. Touch those that are just don't know, they're so confused that they can come to the truth, the true meaning of why they're on this earth, that we all are here for you, Lord, and do your will, not our will. Heavenly Father, we ask of you to bless this nation, that the things here and the, the wickedness are really ramping up, as you say it would in your word, but not to fear, but to intercede in the things that are going on among us. We ask you to put an umbrella over Israel. Things over there, 
but you are still in charge because you did say these things must come to pass, but not to be alone because in the end, you will have the victory. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, once again, no matter what you see, I understand. No matter what's going on, Jesus is in control. So, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And I'll see you another one. God bless you. Love you.